starts right now. Hurricane Dorian continues to gain strength as it barrels towards Florida. Despite the storm's danger, many people in our area are heading south to help the people in the path of the storm. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. Bliss segment explains what they are doing to help. Bliss. Josh, true to the volunteer spirit, a handful of people from the Tennessee Valley are using their special skills to help after the hurricane. While many locals are soaking up the last bit of summer this Labor Day weekend, others are heading towards a hurricane. We're really focused on making sure everyone has a safe place to stay and opening shelters in the community uh, if needed. Julia Wright is the executive director of the American Red Cross for Southeast Tennessee. She says two local Red Cross volunteers are already deployed to Florida. Two more are readying this relief truck and heading south soon and more volunteers Volunteers are on standby. We do anticipate more. Those are just the volunteers we have in Southeast Tennessee. This disaster relief truck will act as a mobile feeding unit. Volunteers will also help build shelters and distribute cleaning supplies. But this isn't the only local organization that will help hurricane victims find a path after the storm. So it's real important that we get help them get the power back on as quickly as we possibly can. J. Ed Marston with the Electric Power Board says five of EPB's contract crews are traveling to the area between Tampa and Lake City, Florida. They'll join thousands of other workers who will effort to ensure Florida keeps power. When you have a major impact to a system, there's too much for one utility's normal employees to work on. In fact, Florida Power and Light says it has mobilized a workforce of more than 16,000 to work on power restoration after Dorian lands. Because when a major hurricane hits, it's all hands on deck. These are very devastating events. People often lose everything they own and they're having to start all over. And the Tennessee Valley is lending that helping hand. Officials with the Sequatchie Valley Electric Cooperative say they will also be sending crews to Florida. Josh. Bliss, thank you. The Red Cross says to help with hurricane relief, you can text Dorian to 90999 or make a donation online.